business. Hello. What is up everybody? You already know I go. It's your boy be back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys hear my windshield wipers, again, it is raining. Um, I wanted to actually answer this question for someone. They asked me, um, where do you get wholesale products from? Okay. Now, you guys already know, okay? I I'm hopping right into this video, but let me do my introduction. My name is Brandon Jones, and if you don't know who I am, I am somebody that specializes in helping you make an extra income, and I'm just literally a guy that works for yourself, an entrepreneur, and I'm just showing you and vlogging my life and showing you my ups and downs, giving you tips and tricks on things that I do know, telling you what I don't. I don't know everything. I'm not a genius. I'm just a regular, regular person trying to get in where I fit in, trying to make this money. I make mistakes. Um, I do sell courses. My courses will not make you a million dollars. My courses will give you an extra income. I do not try to fake and act like I'm nothing I'm not. I, I don't have time. I, I do not have time. I don't have time. Okay, I don't, I don't have time. You got people. I just saw a, a, a little ad on Instagram. This guy said he makes $60,000 every single day. Like, bro. Shit is getting out of hand. Like you can just make any type of claim and just get away with it. Like it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous because there's gonna be somebody that's gonna really believe him. And it's like, bro, you might be making sixty thousand dollars a day. All right, let's just give you that benefit. But if if you can teach everybody how how to make sixty thousand dollars a day, bro, then it would be a problem. Okay, it would be a problem for the economy. Okay, so it's just we we gotta we have to really really start to understand what makes sense and work on what makes sense and just ignore what doesn't because that don't make no damn sense I'm talking about some sixty thousand dollars a day okay you're talking about some doing amazon 60 amazon is trash which i'll make a video on that uh, another day but anyway back to what we're talking about guys um i i really do appreciate you guys taking the time out uh to watch the video and i'm just going to give y'all some real real tips like real real tips like i'm not i'm not giving y'all no tips that um are just cliche i'm gonna give y'all the, the damn bright dirty truth about wholesaling and, and getting wholesale products okay number one the number one place you can get wholesale products y'all know i'm gonna plug myself in 365plug.com i sell wholesale everything that i have at the moment so right now it's just electronics but we are moving towards getting other things um, but if you want wholesale electronics, sign up for an account. Make sure you sign up for the email newsletter as well. And go ahead and you will access regular wholesale pricing. Now, if you just go to the website and you don't sign up, you're just going to get retail prices. Okay. Um, and our wholesale starts at if you add three products or more. So you have to get at least three products to get wholesale. Um, this big behind truck. This, oh, my God. But yeah, you, you, you have to uh, do three in order to get wholesale, okay? So, that's one of the biggest things, all right? Now, my other tips, okay? If you're somebody that's just starting out and you want to do wholesale anything, like earrings, anything, the t first thing I would type in the uh, Google search bar is wholesale blank, right? And I would see how many websites are selling, you know, anything wholesale. And if you go to like the third page, I'm telling you right now, the first page and the second page gonna be all people that pay for placement. I'm telling you, they're gonna be wholesale websites, but they're not gonna be the best. If you go to like the third page, maybe bottom second, you're gonna see websites that are selling wholesale. The problem is most of these websites, they want you to have an EIN, they want you to have a certificate of organization. They want you to have all of this stuff that you may not technically have right now, right? Then they don't even show you the pricing. They don't even show you the pricing. It's not like 365plug.com where you just can sign up for free. You gotta sign up, they gotta review it, they gotta do all of that. Which 
I understand. The reason that is is because they want to control the market. They don't want too many people to get too many things um, wholesale. Like, fun fact, one thing about me, I was trying to do this years ago. I was trying to find exotic snacks, right? But I couldn't find exotic snacks. I was looking everywhere, trying to find exotic snacks wholesale, and um, I just couldn't, you know? I just couldn't, but I ended up chalking it and leaving it alone because I understood that, you know, that is probably for the economics. They don't want too many people selling them. And if I looked hard enough and, and, and got enough connection, I'm sure I could, you know, get into that field. But it's like, I don't feel like doing the work because I don't, it's, 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 it's a bit much to go ahead and search for these wholesale websites online. It's a bit much. You got people that pay for placement. Then you got the whole review period where all they're doing is just reviewing your account, supposedly and then they, they approve you, then you go ahead, you log in, and now, you know what I mean, you wanna buy wholesale M&Ms, but they got you paying $2.75 for a bag. It's like, or you trying to, you trying to wholesale uh, phones, prime example, it's a true story. It was this website, and this website, I was so happy when I first started, because this website sold iPhones wholesale. I might bet. So I went to go to the website and I'm so excited, mind you, because now I'm like, well, I'm gonna have people financing phones, you know, I'm gonna do this, that, and the third. I'm going to buy the damn phones and the phones are literally crazy prices. Like I think for like an iPhone 13, it was like $500. Why would I pay $500 for a 128 gigabyte iPhone 13? Don't make sense, right? So. It's just a lot of research that you have to do to find these vendors. And, you know, people sell vendor lists. But let me tell you something about a vendor list, okay? I'm gonna tell you something about a vendor list. A vendor list is really, really, really good. Really, really good, right? But the only thing about a vendor list is you have to trust that it is of quality individuals. Some people they charge like they charge vendors to even get on the list, and when that happens and they're charging people to get on the list, you sometimes find that okay, this is a person that's going to sell X, Y, and Z, but the X, Y, and Z is trash. It's trash quality. So, long story short, I would never recommend just going online and just signing up for a wholesale website and just selling off of that. Right? What you can do. What I would say do is try to contact them and get them to uh, and get them to um, give you um, a uh, test product. But the problem with test products is that a lot of people don't do them anymore because it doesn't even as a company it doesn't benefit you. It really it really doesn't. It doesn't benefit you if you're really doing qual you know quantities. Because um, if I give you a test product and what if you're just a regular consumer just trying to get a test product? It's like, don't make sense. Now, if I had your EIN and your, and your articles of organization and all that, your business license, your reseller's permit, then I know you're, you're a business, so I might be more inclined to do it, you know? But other than that, it's an icy dunny bunch, you know? It's an icy dunny bunch. Uh, it, it just, it won't, it wouldn't make sense, you know? So my next tip would definitely be, and my only tip, would be to go and get out and look at your local short stores. Go to electronic shops, go to all of these places that sell electronics or whatever you're trying to sell and ask them, do you sell wholesale? Do you know anybody that sells wholesale? Look for screen replacement places, like people that sell screens. Like it's somebody in your area that sells screens. You just have to find them. Once you find them, you sometimes can ask them for a plug and say, hey, do you know anybody? And if you talk to enough people, I promise you, you'll find somebody. But that's a lot of work. I done talked to, in order for me to get my first wholesale, I've talked to 250 people, like locations, and asked them. And nobody wanted to give me the drop because they, they would view me as competition, sort of, kind of, you know? So it does come to a point to where, you know, like 365plug.com, I try to make it where you guys have a cheat code. Like you guys are not put in the position that I was put in when I first started where I couldn't even find nobody to, to sell me anything wholesale. What happened was I ended up um, asking around, never got an answer from anybody that I liked, okay? Never, nobody was like, yeah, 
you know, Joe Schmo is somebody that sells X, Y, and Z. But I started to go to flea markets. I started to go a lot of different places, right? And when I, when I went to these places, I'm talking far places, right? I finally sat down so now I can talk to you. I'm talking about far places sometimes. I went there and I would see people selling things that I wanted to sell. Now, you know, I would just develop a really close friendship with them. And then they would never tell me their wholesaler. But what I did was I started to realize and, and peep and analyze, hey, what, what's this person doing on his phone? Is that, what website is that? Or, oh, what contacts are you calling? Like, I would literally be so nosy and I would literally insert myself in conversations. Like, hey, hey, what's up, man? If you talk to a supplier, hey, what's up, man? Uh, and, and, and it would be a joke to the guy, but it's just me trying to really put my foot into the door. Cause you know how when a door is about to close and you are elevated about to close and you put like a limb into, into the door to try to make sure it doesn't. That's how I was, man. I was really a hustler. Like I was somebody that was just crying away until I ended up meeting different suppliers by literally just connecting with people that had the same type of goals that I had. And um, and that's why me and you are connected because, you know, I have a, a goal, I think, that a lot of people, you know, on this channel have, all of you educated hustlers have, you know? Because you all are educated hustlers. You all are educated hustlers. You're smart and you all want to be something, you know? And it's just all about connecting with the right people. You know, I was reading a book today. It was um, Mastering Your Ego, I believe that's what it's called, right? And it was telling me, it was like, yeah, you want to surround yourself around three different types of people. The person that is better than you and they know more than you and, you know, they're more successful. The person that's like leveled and, and, and even with you and then the person that's lower than you. Because if you have three of those, th that those three type of people around you, you'll surround yourself around a whole bunch of different um, cr criticism. They're going to critique you all the time and it just makes you better, you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I helped somebody. I, I don't have any um like breathtaking advice because it's not a breathtaking type of subject it's not a subject where anybody's going to just give you their suppliers nobody's going to do that um if they do it's trash suppliers they don't use those suppliers because it's, it would be non-business like honestly to give you their suppliers when they can literally just supply it it, it just doesn't make sense um i'm telling you how business works that's and this is like i said the dirty truth um, so guys, I got to go. I'm about to pick up my son from school and it's rainy. So I don't know what we about to do. Um, but I will bring it. I'll be, I will be bringing more personal vlogs to you guys as well. So look out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you follow me at educated underscore underscore hustler. I appreciate you guys. Peace.